what's up everyone i hope you're doing amazing this is meek and i'm going to be showing you how to turn on your microphone in GarageBand ios all right every day a star is born okay so what that means is every day a new person is downloading that garage band app and they have the intent to become an audio artist okay a recording artist so i'm going to show you the most important thing about GarageBand into recording, you know, in GarageBand iOS. All right. So somebody asked me on one of my videos, how do I turn on the microphone in GarageBand? All right. It's a simple question, but if you don't know, you don't know. All right. So this was a great question. I'm happy they asked and I'm happy I'm the one to be showing you this. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is open up a new audio project. Okay. And the simplest way to do that is to press the microphone, okay? So you want to press the microphone next to the select bu button, all right? All right, and when you do that, it's going to bring you to a microphone and automatically, automatically, your microphone is going to be on. You don't have to do anything, okay? So even if you open up um, a project another way and you add a microphone, so say if you was to do that, audio recorder, go there, I got a new microphone, it's on. Okay, because the microphone is going to automatically be on. All right. So here where it says input, you can see that this is green line jumping every time I'm talking. That means the microphone is picking up what I am saying. Your microphone is automatically in GarageBand because that's what your iPhone, iPad has. It's a microphone. It's, it can pick up. All right. So it's reading. Um my voice levels okay perfect that's what input means all right down here is mic channel you can switch the mic channel if it's more than one you don't really have to worry about that all right so here i'm going to tap on input and um you can adjust your input level to be lower or higher okay you always you never want it here you never want it there okay you want to make sure it's he, he, where it was defaultly, or you can lower it, you know, but the higher, the worse. The lower, the better. You can always adjust low audio. High audio means that it's going to clip, and it can also be distorted when you are recording. All right? You can also put it on automatic, and it'll jump to the automatic. It really don't matter. The automatic is not going to hurt it, okay? And as you can see, the automatic, it jumps. It's, it's like automation. It moves, you know, when it needs to move, when it decides to. It's like AI, you know, artificial intelligence. So I'm going to turn mine off because I like to adjust mine. Keep it right there. All right. So here it says drag the slider to set the input level or tap automatic to have garage band, garage band set an optimal amount. Dragging the slider alters the level of all tracks for recording. All right. Connect to enter app audio apps. You don't really need to know about that. If you're a beginner, just focus on just recording a garage band and mastering that. Now this is the noise gate. Now the noise gate, um, it kind of cancels out noise at a certain level. Not kind of, it does. It cancels out noise at a certain level. So as you can hear, I got a lot of birds in my background and stuff. Um, if I was to stop talking, it would cancel that out, you know, you can turn it up or down, but this really works when you have the monitor, when you have a monitor, um, on. Okay. So here's our output level. All right. So the thing is the person that asked me didn't probably realize that they had to have headphones in. I'm thinking that's a problem. Um, you need to have headphones, um, hooked up to your iPhone or iPad. And I would recommend not using Bluetooth because because Bluetooth lags, okay? So you want some headphones. You can use your headphones, um, like some Beats by Dre's or the Apple headphones. That's not Bluetooth, that's not AirPods, okay? And it will work because that's just how it works. All right, so they may not have realized that the only reason why they couldn't hear that their microphone was on because the iPhone or iPad is not going to play your sound back to you. It can only input it. It will play your audio back 
after it's recorded into the app, okay? So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to record something. So you can't hear it coming out of my, iP my iPad, right? All right. I'm going to record into here. I transferred from Los Angeles. Your school has no gymnastics team. This is the last resort. All right. You see that it picked up my audio recording when I recorded into there. Transferred from Los Angeles. Your All right. And it's going to play it back once I got it recorded and everything. All right. Now. That's where we get to output. So output is output is how you hear your sound out. That's what it means, basically. All right. So here you would turn on your monitors if you have headphones in. Okay. Or you connect to an interface. All right. Let's see what happens when we try to turn on our monitor. You turn on your monitor by clicking this off button. It won't even let you turn it on if you don't have your headphones plugged up. To use monitoring, connect a pair of headphones or other external audio device to your device. Okay. So you see it's gray. That means it's not even on at all. So I'm going to plug in my headphones. All right. So now I can turn it on and off. So I'm going to turn it on. There we go. Check, check, check. All right. Now, that's how you hear your output. You need your headphones in. All right, so if I turn on my noise gate, turn it up, check, check, check. You can't hear nothing. Hello. Yes, I can't hear you. When I, when I stop talking, um, the microphone goes off, All right? I never use noise gate, but I probably should. All right, but if you really understand this noise gate, you can get a very clear recording. All right. So also, I want to show you this. So you could you could turn your monitor off. You can turn it on from here in the input settings as well. All right, but you won't have the monitor option when you take out your headphones. All right, so I'm gonna show you. All right, so you can see that it just went off. So there's no monitor option. Turn it on. All right, so we're gonna see. Does it make a difference in the sound? I transferred from Los Angeles. Your school has no gymnastics team. This is the last resort. Transferred from Los Angeles. So it really is no difference if you have headphones in or not. You can see the wave files are the same. All right, so it really didn't have um, much of an effect um, on the vocal quality. But always, you know, recording into a microphone is always, you know, just better. But your iPad, iPhone, microphone works just fine. Okay. So with that being said, we learned today that you can only hear yourself back in real time if you have in headphones. Or you can also use an iRig and plug your headphones into there. But it will work just fine without headphones, okay? You just won't be able to hear yourself talking at the same time that you're recording, which is very helpful when you're recording. You always want to hear yourself back, okay? You always want to hear yourself on how you're sounding within um, the app while it's recording, okay? It just sounds better. All right, so I hope that helps you. Thank you. Please subscribe.